Today, folks, super, super hot out today. I'm hard to get motivated in the seat. Anyway, so what we got here, Turbo 350. Um, I don't know if it's ever been touched. There's a few things we got to deal with here. I'm going to freshen it up, making it so it can take a little more power than what uh, a stock 350 can handle. Okay, so all I've done so far, pull off the tailstock and the seal for the tailstock. Um, just four 916s, nothing to that. Got your uh, speedometer drive gear here, held in with a little clip. And these can be a bit of a pain sometimes. But usually if you just wiggle them, they'll come right out. There's the clip. It's got a little hole in the shaft that it holds in and a slot. Don't hit them. They're plastic. They do break real easy. So I'm far from a transmission expert. I've done a few of these all my own. I don't offer my services up for transmission rebuilding. It's just not worth my hassle. Just checking things, looking for wear, and this transmission has been sitting in my shed for almost 20 years, so I wouldn't be surprised to find some rust and some un unusual things in it. Okay, front pump, uh, there's, once you get the bolts out, there's going to be two spots that have threads, here and here, and then you can set thread a 3 8 in there. Okay, so that's how you get your front pump out. Right. So there's our pump, which we'll be digging into here later. Apparently I lost some footage. Uh, there's my valve body. Okay, um, it's dirty. There's the bottom plate and there's the valve body. Uh, it's really dirty in here, but so far, nothing uh, surprising as far as bad, bad damage. This doesn't have a shift kit or nothing in it. I had the four check balls that I pulled out. When I, when I put it together, I'll go over a little more detail. Right now, I'm just slamming this thing apart. Okay, so in the front, we've got a wave and then a steel. And then there's a bunch of clutch packs. Okay, there's our culprit. Got a bad friction disc here. There's, that's been burning up for a while. Um, let's see, so it's just like a dirt bike clutch. All right, you got a steel, then a friction disc, and then a steel, and then what's supposed to be a friction disc. And that one's completely blown off. All the pieces are spread, spread through the transmission and out. Now these have taken some damage, these two steels, because they were blowing against friction discs that are non-existent. You can see this friction disc, same thing. There's nothing. There's no material at all left on it. Completely barren. So I don't know how this thing was still even turning. It certainly wasn't propelling the vehicle anywhere, I'll tell you that. That's the big heavy one in the back. So with that steel on steel, there was literally only one clutch actually there still. That's not a good thing. And then we got our band, which holds everything in back here. See how bad that is. Yeah, there's quite a bit of pitting on that too. That's, uh, that's done. A few chunks missing off the corners. Okay, so that just sits in the case up against the stop and then the air piston right here is what activates that to hold on to the outside of here. I'm just checking for anything significant on the inside here. Okay, so there's another little spacer bearing in there with the flanges on it. Let's have a look here. Sprag. Okay, so it's a one-way clutch. It should rotate one way, but not the other. 
and you just want to look for any any damage from clutch plates there this is where your band runs uh, typically it's a pretty stout piece it might get some grooves but not too often there's too much wrong with that so right in there there's a little clip you got to get out okay when it comes to the clip in here you can mess around with these things all day long and you're one in a million what I do here is I take a pointy all screwdriver whatever you got or grind an old one up jam it in between one of the teeth on an angle deep as you can get and that'll come out just like that okay that's how I get them out heck of a lot easier than trying to because you got the teeth of the gear on inside there and you're just a fraction of an inch is all you can really get at and they just slip 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 just annoying use a use a something like that and then once you got that pull out your planetaries here and you're just looking for any wobbling to show that the pins or the gear itself might be worn out and they should all spin pretty freely that one's plastic so we're not getting too detailed here we're just pulling it apart to make sure that this is a usable transmission there you've got a great big clip and then there's an anti-rattle spring that keeps that all from banging around in there helps to have a big big bare one like that and all i'm doing is grabbing on twisting a bit and then pulling out until it clears all the little cogs and the locks in there hey okay, great big monster what will happen here is sometimes this will rotate in and lock and then you got to beat it to get it out so when it comes to getting that out the easiest thing i know how to do is take your case slam it on the ground just like that it's gotten a lot lighter okay there we got a little roller bearing sits in the back uh, it's got a little flange flange goes down so outwards now, the last piston in the back you definitely want to pull out it's spring loaded and then there's a clip in there you got to pull out okay they sell a tool that locks into the hair and you turn it and it push just puts pressure on that spring so that there is the last hard thing to get out yeah okay. that there's our goofy clip out Okay, now this here, a lot of people won't, won't get into this, and that's a huge mistake. There's three very important seals, right here, here, and there. And these things get all hard and brittle, and they junk up, and then this piston doesn't move like it's got to. Other than the bushing at the back, everything's got to take out of the case. Get this out of the way, and go look at getting it cleaned up. Now it's just a matter of throwing all this apart. Should have some friction material on these okay so there was nothing wrong with that one normal wear and tear checking for scoring here there's discoloration but I can't feel any of those okay if you have to take this apart say your shaft is toast okay any of these surfaces where the bushings run or the clutches run or are gone or you got splines tore up 
or anything in there gone there's a clip here you can pull out separate that mess okay so this one here you got another big ring in there same thing pull your ring out you got your heavy steel and your clutch pack that one there is toast but remember there's two sides to these friction discs and in this case that side's good you can still see the lit ridges the side is completely down there's just the tiniest maybe five thousandths of an inch left before it got to the steels okay here you've got another setup just like that you got to push it down and pull the clip okay all these springs just fly out the same thing with that piston there's a big seal here that gets dried out and leaks when that leaks you start losing gears Okay, so there we are, transmission's apart as much as it needs to be for uh, what I'm doing. We're going to get everything cleaned up, have a good look at everything, make sure it's actually good, and start putting it together probably tomorrow. Just by looking at the pan, you knew that something was gone. Uh, all the friction discs except for one were barren. But what we really need is new friction discs for this. Uh, obviously gaskets. We're going to put in a shift kit, just mild. Uh, nothing crazy. Uh, replace everything that's worn and throw it back together. Okay, like I said, I'm not really a transmission guy. I know enough to fuddle around and make it work. Um, I don't build performance transmissions for people or any of that kind of stuff. So uh, if that's what you're looking for, then you know, precision transmission, he's got a pretty good sight. Um, I, I look more for reliability and longevity than straight out performance. Uh, we are doing a shift kit in this just because it's going behind a pretty powerful motor. So we're going to firm up the shifts a bit. So provided all of this stuff was good, like I said, uh, you know, the hard parts and the shafts and things like that, then uh, I should be good to put this back in. Uh, a long process here of cleaning everything up and getting it ready to receive new parts. So that's the next thing.